Good morning, Utah. I've made it to one of my favorite states. I woke up really early this morning and I thought, what the heck, I'm just gonna drive over here and get a spot and be set for a great day. And then that has spurred me on to being ready to go. So I'm gonna pull my bicycle down and I'm gonna use the shuttle buses to then get me into the canyon and then I'll ride my bike around from there and I'll probably end up just riding the whole way back. Zion is one of my favorite places, so it's good to be back. All right, so cool, thanks. All right. Hi there. Alright, we made it to the Temple of Sinawava with my bike, and it is gorgeous. So I've made it into the canyon on the bus, it's an easy ride, it's a fun ride actually. And they let you throw your bike right on the front, there's bike mounts, and um, you can just put your bike on board, you can ride up all the way here. This is Temple of Sinawava, which is the end of the road, and then you can bike back to town, or do whatever you want. You can jump on and off the bus too. So. I um, frequently will ride all the way in and then ride all the way back out, but if it's early or late and I'm looking to save a little time, it's nice to be able to just jump on the bus with your bike one way, and then it's mostly downhill going out of here. Still a few hills you have to go up, but it's a lot easier going out than it is coming in. Awesome. I'm stoked to be in Zion. Look at this place. All right, I'm riding along here through Zion. This is so cool because they have the shuttle buses running and with the shuttle buses running, there's no traffic from private vehicles coming in here, which I love it when I can drive my van in here. But since I've discovered riding a bike in here is actually all right with me because it is so cool on your bike because a bus only comes by every five to 10 minutes. Other than that, you were just riding on an empty road and you feel like you have this whole place to yourself. And really, you see it so much better off of a bicycle than you do whizzing through in your car. Um, you, it's just a whole different experience. So I encourage you guys, if you travel with bikes, or if you don't, you can rent them in Springdale and ride in here or ride out of here. It's an awesome way to see the main canyon of Zion. All right, I'm here underneath Angel's Landing, right there. It is an amazing hike to get up there. I'm not doing that one today. I've done it lots of times in the past. I'm loving the fall color right now. I don't know if it's quite as vibrant as in past years, but it's pretty amazing with the red rock and the yellow leaves. Sometimes you get some bright oranges in here too, which is always fun. I feel like I have this canyon to myself right now. I have not seen another person that hasn't been in a bus. So everybody's riding the buses. They're going to the, the very popular um, trailheads and doing all the, the common hikes. But that's what's so neat about riding your bike is that you can stop in the in-between places and linger in places where you'd be really hard to get to on the bus. I hope you do get on your bikes and get to experience the canyon this way because it is a great way to see Zion. Hi. Hi. Well, you can rent e-bikes in town and ride in here and these folks sounds like they flew in rented some bikes and they're going up to hike the narrows he said he thought it was 60 bucks a day to rent those little e-bikes in town and i think riding an e-bike in here is a great way to do it it's awesome i'm pedaling the old-fashioned way but it'll get me there the same so i just had an encounter with a big old buck he was over here sharpening his antlers on a tree and it just reminded me, you know, that's one of the nice things about being in the national parks is that you can view the animals from a much closer distance than you would say in a rural area where maybe they're hunted more and you just, you know, as soon as they see a person, they take off. These though, though, you know, you still want to keep your distance, but you can actually, you know, view them from a closer distance than you can in most other places. That was fun. You know, I was maybe hundred yards from this buck and he didn't 
care at all about me. He was just doing his thing. So thank you Zion for a wonderful time. This is definitely one of my most favorite places in the world. Okay, here we go. We're passing the Zion Lodge right now. Ooh, we're in the sun now. I might be overheating here soon. Might have to stop to shed a lair. Last time I was here, I kayaked right through here on the Virgin River. That was in the spring. There was a lot more water then. It's a little different today. Look out turkeys! Look out guys! Look out guys! Look out turkeys! There's a bus coming! I'm out of the main canyon now. I cross under the road at Sentinel Bridge, and now there's a great bike path that takes you all the way back to the visitor center. The views of the Sentinel from here are just phenomenal. I'm starting to see more people. Everybody's getting up and about and out. My day riding around Zion's kind of winding down when everybody else is starting, and that's fine with me because I feel like I had the whole park to myself all morning long. It's pretty awesome. All right, I'm back at the van. That was such a good morning. What an awesome day in Utah. I am stoked. Mm -hmm.